let's talk Planters Punch. Planters Punch is a cocktail that's been around donkey's years. I'm talking 1600s. You know, it is one of those recipes that you kind of see touted around in um, like with Smuggler's Cove and all those kind of cocktail books, Beach Bun Berry and all that. But it is kind of the base towards a lot of cocktails. So I'm going to just take you through. I've just, I've prepared, not presentation, I've just prepared a couple of little things for you. Don't worry, it's not death by PowerPoint or anything like that. Don't, don't you worry. Uh, and if you do come up with any recipes, I can, I can start them. So I'm just, I can uh, come back to them later. So don't, don't be frightened if you're going to put um, uh, comments, uh, uh, recipes in there now. So, right, here we go. So look at this, just to my side there, look at that. So the planter's punch, uh, as I've just said, you know, Basically, it stems from sort of the mid, late sort of 1600s. It's been around a very, very long time. It kind of came onto the scene in Barbados, but it was all around the Caribbean as such. Uh, planters refers to the plantation owners. They would have, they would all have their own kind of recipes. Uh, and basically, and it was just kind of easy. You've got to remember the, the kind of ingredients they had, like in the 1600s, 1700s. That's how long it's been around. Uh, it became famous in the 90s. So we scroll forward like a few hundred years. Became famous in Jamaica because of these guys. Everyone kind of, um, because obviously there was no news, there was no internet, there was no nothing like that. There was no social media back in the 18 and 1900s. Uh, it was kind of put on the scene, the Planters Punch by Myers. It became a very much Jamaican thing. Hence that Myers rum. You've all seen Myers rum, haven't you? So, I'm going to make the first planter's punch with that tonight. Uh, so that's that's kind of what put it on the map. Uh, but the form, the whole point is the, there's a formula. And I've seen quite a few uh, where I've put it. I've put a poll out on uh, my community feed. I've done stuff in Discord. And I've seen quite a few recipes. But none of them have stuck to the, the formula. And the formula is a very, very famous one. We traditionally refer it to the rum punch formula. But it's essentially the same thing. So. The formula has been around since the age of time. And this is the, where the little rhyme comes. So it is one of sour, two of sweet, three of strong, four of weak. And then over time, we added a dash of spice to make it nice. And that is essentially how the planter's punch became about. All right. So when we say one of sour, two of sweet, three of strong, that basically refers to parts. Now, if you are making like one off, like I'm going to be doing tonight, your part could be, um, let's just use that one. Let's use, let's use the big end. That's my mouse gone. I'm going to have to pick that up in a second if it's still alive. Uh, you could use, actually, I'll go and pick my mouse up now. There it is. There it is. Otherwise, I can't get rid of the old plantation thing off the screen. There we go. Is it still working? Yeah, it's still alive. Right. Let's get rid of that. So, hang on. Let's put leaf that on there. So, the, the parts, for tonight's purposes, I'm going to be doing a part as 15 mil. All right, so where it says one of sour, that's 15 mil of sour. Where it says two of sweet, that's going to be two lots of 15 mil for your sweet. Now, we'll come on to other things because sweet is obviously, you know, so let's go on. It's sour is going to be like traditionally would be your lemons and limes and stuff like that. But grapefruit juice would come into that as well a little bit. Uh, when it comes to sweet, we are traditionally talking back in the day, back in the day, probably, probably more that colour syrup, to be fair or that colour syrup, you know. But we'll come on to other things as well. So that, that's essentially your sweet. Your strong is obviously your rum, okay? So three lots of 15 would be 45 mil for the purposes of tonight, all right? And then your four of weak is your mixer, all right? And then the dash of spice. We'll come on, I'll come on to the dash of spice in a second because the dash of spice kind of needs explaining a little bit more. Right, so let's get rid of that. So we've kind of au fait a little bit with the, um, let's go back to the comments so I can see the comments. Because we're kind of au, au fait with the formula, all right? So one of sour, two of sweet, three of strong, four of weak, and a dash of spice to make it nice. Now, as I say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it in this. Uh, and I'm going to go, I'm going to go start off with kind of traditionally. Sounds fine on full volume. Cool, 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 cool. I'm watching. Blah, blah, blah. Who is that on deck? Right, you're having banter. Right. Right, let's pin. Uh, I'm going to pin that one, Jerky. 
if that's how you say your name properly. Oh, hang on, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to, there we go, star it. Right, I can come back to that. So we are going to do like one of the original ones, a Barbados run to start off with. So uh, what's, what's that? This line. So we've got one of sour. So 15 mil of sour. Okay. In there. Two of sweet would be 30 mil of your sugar syrup, whatever you're going to use. Okay. Be cane juice. Cane juice. Cane juice syrup back in those days. Straight into your glass. You know, they're not, they're not, have I got cocktail shakers or anything like that back in the days? You know, <laughs> none of this shaking with ice or anything like that. So you just, it's just pouring straight into a glass and giving it a stir. Uh, your three of weak, uh, your three, sorry, your three of strong. So one part sour, two parts weak. Uh, one part sour, two parts sweet, three parts strong. So 45 mil, three lots of four, uh, 15 mil is 45. And then your weak, in this case, would be water. Because they didn't have ice they didn't have juices they didn't have anything like that back in the day so it is water so you've got four lots of 15 mil which is 60 mil of water now obviously they're going to make this in batches you know they're making them in punch bowls and things like that so they'd be do they, their parts would be cups or jugs or bottles or, or whatever but that is essentially i'm gonna i'm gonna bulk this up with a couple of ice cubes but that is essentially a, a planter's punch at our mid 1600s. All right. Now the dash of spice back in those days, you've got to think um, Angostura bitters. Just about I forget the actual date, but Angostura bitters came on the scene roughly in the late 1700s. I think it's the late 1700s. I haven't got a bottle of it. Well, I've got the orange. I'm not sure what it says on the orange actually. Um, the other ones that drink stuff. Whatever the date is, I'm sure it's I'm sure it's mid to late 1700s. But you've got to think. You know, that was kind of a Trinidad thing. And that really didn't come around uh, the Caribbean until much later on. So their dash of spice or their pinch of spice would have some, been something like cinnamon or, in this case, uh, nutmeg. I've got some nutmeg going on in there. And that is it. Just give that a stirring. That is the planter's punch with the dash of spice. And that is absolutely tasty. I really do love that because long time viewers will know one of my favorite rum punches that I absolutely adore is swapping that out for a combination of that and that with water. I love with water. Okay. But I'm just going to show you a quick uh, flip on this. I'm going to show you what kind of uh, Myers did with this in a second. But um, so your one part would be lime, your two parts would be of sweet, would be one part or jat and one part honey. That's what I love doing. Uh, whatever rum of choice and water. It's a simple, simple punch. And that I'll show you what I use in a minute for my sort of bitters. But that is properly, properly tasty. I absolutely love that. So come forward to where should we say? I forget. It was like 19, I forget the actual date now, but it's say 1920s when Myers came on the scene and everyone heard about Myers and all that sort of stuff. You know, Myers really did coin, I think they used to have it on the, um, on the bottle. They don't anymore. It's got Myers Shark Bite, Myers Sunset and Myers Pina Colada on the back of the bowl. I remember Myers 20 years ago on the back of the bottle. They used to have their kind of, um, their planters punch on the back there. Right. So it's essentially the same sort of thing. Now you have to kind of think, right? Um, ice was, I did know this, ice, commercial ice was kind of invented in the mid 1800s. But I do know this, the Hamilton blenders uh, were 1930s. So I haven't got a Hamilton blender. I've got a, I don't know whether that will sort of come in. I have got, I've got a Buffalo stick blender there. But Hamilton, in uh, in the US and, and, and those sort of islands out there, Hamilton did have the rights to make uh, stick blenders in the 1930s. So what I'm going to do is kind of the earliest uh, iteration, if you like, of that planter's punch, that earliest kind of um, famous recipe, if you like. So we're going again. We're going to do virtually the identical thing. We're going to do one part uh, sour. Uh, where's, where's my brown? I put the brown in the wrong place. There it is. Uh, we're going to do two parts of the sweet. We're going to do exactly the same thing. 
There we go. Uh, we're going to do three parts of the strong, which is the Myers rum in this case. So 45 mil of the Myers rum. But this time, there's two other things coming here. So the, pin, the dash of spice to make it nice, obviously kind of, these are Angostura bitters. Most of you kind of know that these might, the, the rest of the bottles are out of drink stuff, but these are my Angostura bitters. As I say, Angostura bitters came on the scene. So the dash of spice went from nutmeg and cinnamon, stuff like that, proper grated nutmeg or proper grated cinnamon, to the dash of Angostura bitters, essentially. So there we go, dash of Angostura bitters. But what happened, instead of using water, we kind of flash blended. All right, with crushed ice, a couple of agitator cubes. So if you don't use the agitator cubes, your ice gets stuck to the, 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 the side of the wall there. So flash blend, and you could, you know, you can't hear me, but basically as well, for those of the, you know, Caribbean's quite poor, for those that didn't have flash blenders or anything like that, you know, you're talking Hawaii and some of the richer countries, they would have had their lele sticks, the swizzle sticks like that, thank you, Claire. Uh, so the cot, you know, this would have gone into the cocktail like that and it would have been swizzled like that. That's the equivalent. That's if you haven't got a blender, you kind of want a really nice um, stick, uh, what do you call it? A swizzle stick like that. Right. There we go. So a quick flash blend. And then we're going to pour it into a little glass like that. And that is how the... The planter's punch evolved from the 1920s up until kind of Don. I, th we think, I think it's Don Beach. I don't think it was Trader Vic. It might have been Trader Vic, actually. But I think it was Don Beach that kind of discovered it. And Don Beach was the one that questioned, well, actually, why do we have to use lime juice? Why does the sweet, you know, have to be kind of traditional sugar? Why can't we use other things? And, of course, there's liqueurs about in those days as well. Orange, orange curacaos and all that sort of stuff were about back in the day. So, of course, we've got that. Why can't we start using a blend of rums instead of just one rum? Why can't we do a blend of rums? And why can't we use other juices like orange juice? So, okay, the, 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 um, the sour is going to be your lemon, lime, orange, but, uh, lemon, lime, grapefruit. But why can't you use like orange and maybe the flesh of a pineapple? So it's Don Beach and oh, no, obviously Trader Vic essentially as well. But it was kind of those two that kind of took that whole planter's punch thing, the cocktail that's kind of loosely responsible for all the tropical cocktails that you see now, whether it's your zombies, whether it's your pina coladas, whether it's all that, they are loosely all based around that formula. Now, when we're talking punches, you kind of want a punch to stick to that formula. One part sour, two parts sweet, three parts strong, four parts weak, and a dash of spice to make it nice. But we know full well that zombies and all that other stuff, all those other cocktails, kind of riff it out a little bit. Some, if you go Mai Tai and daiquiris and stuff like that, the Mai Tai is citrus heavy as opposed to, you know, sugar heavy, but they're different styles of cocktail. So that's kind of the base of a planter's punch. So what I'm just going to spend the rest of the evening doing now is kind of just having a little play with you guys, coming up with some different recipes. Uh, this stuff been in my Discord for ages there. As I say, no, no one's actually posted uh, a proper one to, I don't think they have. Uh, I can go back to it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure no one, hang on, where are we? Cocktail chat. No one actually posted. I'm, I'm thinking because David got in there early doors. Hang on, where's David? Uh, 15 lemon cream. Yeah, David actually did, but mango juice. And I was kind of wanted to stick, uh, get away from mango juice because I realised not everyone's got access to it a little bit. So, that is the planter's punch. And again, it's absolutely delicious. Even though it is Myers rum, it is absolutely delicious. I would quite happy drink that. It's so well balanced. It is on the fun fruity side, more than anything. But it just goes to show, you don't need any other mixes. I mean, you could use soda water. I've got the soda siphon ready to go as well you know i've got that ready the old the old soda siphon there but you just don't need like 
all the tropical juices and all that to create cocktails. You think what they had to play with back in the day in the 1800s, in the early 1900s, it was nothing like what we've got today. I've got, Christ knows how many syrups and purees here today. You know, you can, you can make up whatever you fancy. But I promise you, this, this is just delicious. This is really, really good. I flipping love that. I quite happily drink that. So, uh, presentation over. Now it's the sort of interaction time. I thought that would take about 15 minutes. That wasn't, that wasn't bad. Right, I'm going to start Jim's as well. So I've got a recipe there from Jim. Um, right. Do you thank God we're not in the 1600s. No DMF back in the 1600s. <laughs> hey, Pam. Pam's here. Uh, da -da -da -da. I see. I... I get, I get the whole appearance thing. Claire's just said it's, uh, it, it's better. You know, it looks better blended. The blended will put the aeration into it as well. You know, it will create that sort of, I don't know what the word is, that sort of lighter kind of feel to the cocktail. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I'd quite happily drink that. Fine. <laughs> right. Uh, made the Tom made the original one. With Neptune, it's not bad at all. That's what I mean. You know, that's that's really... I was actually looking for Mount Gay Eclipse, but I can't find it. Mount Gay Eclipse has gone. So I can see the Appleton signature. I was actually going to use these guys because I haven't used that for anything. I was actually going to use that and then I forgot. I thought it was Barbados rum, but it's not. It's a Jamaica Barbados and uh, Guyana in that. We'll have to get that out to play. Right. Uh, right, so if you've got what I'm going to put on screen... Uh, oh, wrong one, captions, that's the one. Uh, there we go. Right, so for those of you just tuning in, or doing, don't be shy. Whack your, you get creative, whack your kind of punch uh, recipes in the comments, and I'll pick out a few. I've started a few, and we'll just kind of, we'll we'll maybe look at putting these in a cocktail book in, in, in time. We don't know, we don't know. Uh, with a Caroni. <laughs> Yes, Wendy. <laughs> Wendy has uh, Wendy has very kindly donated a fiver. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> Wendy. I don't know why you're doing that because you guys paid for the Caroni anyway, didn't you? But as we, as we're going to do it, I'll tell you what I do need to do. I need to get my cloth wherever my cloth is. There it is, and get that wet. There we go. Right, because the bar's already sticky. So, what are we doing with the Caroni, uh, Wendy? Are we doing? Are we doing plain sugar? Are we doing water? Are we doing soda water? What are we doing with the Caroni? I'll be honest. I'm quite happy just sort of flash, flash blended it with crushed ice, to be honest. Exactly the same. Just swapping the um, so lime, Caroni, Demerara, and, uh, and crushed ice. I'm quite happy doing that. But you let me know what you want to do with that Caroni, and then we shall do it. Oh no, this is delicious. Demerara, okay mate. On it, so. So again, one of sour. I've got plenty of lime juice, don't worry. One of sour, that includes spilling it on the bar. So <laughs> one of sour. I've got lemon juice, I've got grapefruit juice here, and then the other juices for the, the kind of the, the week, if you like. I've got pineapple, grapefruit, uh, pineapple, orange, ready to go as well. So, uh, brown. So, the rose mullion works really well. Uh, the rose mullion, dark. Steve, what are we talking about there? Because I was playing about with that the other day. There's a video coming out with rose mullion in, in a couple of weeks, actually. Right, so the brown. Caroni, 45 mil. I, was, I had a glass of this um, the other night, actually. Where are we? Thursday night? Oh, it's tasty. Right. So 45 mil of Caroni. There we go. Lovely, jubbly. Uh, is Mummy Barman popping in before Celebrity starts? Yeah, she'll be recording Celebrity anyway. She, she's like me. She can't watch anything at normal speed. It has to be fast forward. Right. And then crushed ice. With a couple of, couple of adjuncts. There we go. Right. Right. Just quickly flash blend that. Sorry for the old sound. Mm -hmm. 
was, I was trying to do the whole countdown then with my fingers, and I was like, where do I go now? Five. <laughs> I got stuck. <laughs> right. Uh, let's go into that one. Oh, I didn't do the bitters, did I? Uh, here's the other thing. Sorry, this is what I was uh, I was going to mention. One of my favourite, and I think you guys know this, left, right, and I'll come right up onto the screen so you can see this. One of my favourite additions, this is where these guys get rocked out a hell of a lot, um, is the Elamakudi Tiki Bitters. I love adding these to uh, a punch. As you can see, cinnamon, allspice, endoblices, um, black island spices. They are worldwide. You can get bitterments, Elamakudi Tiki Bitters worldwide. I'm just going to try this without the bitters, and then I'm going to add some bitters in it. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> oh, that's tasty. Right, let's put the old soda water. Soda water? Yeah, soda water. Soda water off screen there? Yeah. Right. Oh, that's tasty. I'm going to add the Elamakuli Tiki in here. I need, a, need another bottle. There we go. One. Let's just do. Oh, there we go. Got loads in there. The Elamakuli Tiki Bitters. They are my favourite for a punch. Right. There we go. Cheers, Wendy. That is flipping delicious. If anyone wants to donate 20 quid, I'm quite happy to do it. A two. Two run blend with uh, with those. <laughs> I'm, I'm quite happy in the interest of science. <laughs> it will cost you twenty quid though. <laughs> oh. Makes me laugh. Makes me giggle. So hopefully some recipes coming in and out. Right, let's uh, let's star Claire's. We'll come on to Claire's in a second. Right, we've got that star. So uh, I'll be tempted to give a pina colada vibes, coconut syrup. Here, here, here. Okay, right. So let's pin the messages. I've got three. So let's go back to the first one. Jerky. Is that how you say your name? Jerky? Jer jer I'm, I'm assuming it is. Jer jerky? Giant? Jerky? Jerky? I'm assuming it is. I'm really sorry. If not, spell it phonetically. Uh, I'm in a different thread in the moment, but I'll see. Oh, I can see comments here, actually. Big G's in the house. Big, hello, Big G. Right. So simple. Here we go. We're going to do this one. Teaspoon grenadine, teaspoon velvet falernum, anger story bitters. Don Beach, 1937. Right. Uh, I don't know. Jerky. I, hang on. Ah, okay. I'm with you. I'm with you. So I, was, I thought that was a rum then for a second. <laughs> right. Half an ounce of lime. So 15 mil of lime. We'll do that. 15 mil of lime. Boom. Job's good. Uh, 15 mil of simple, which is cane. There we go. Boom. So we've got the old cane in there. What do we want? We want grenadine. So half a teaspoon of grenadine. So that'll be literally about two or three mil. Where's my grenadine? I'm sure to be able to do that in here as well. If I'm really, really careful. There we go. So grenadine and velvet falernum. I've still should just have enough of velvet falernum. There's not much in here, but there's a tiny, tiny bit. And we'll set half a teaspoon of no, where are we? Half a teaspoon of velvet falernum as well. This one's a bit runnier. There we go. Half a teaspoon of that. Angostura bitters, which are there. There we go. Whack that in there. And then done, 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 done. Two ounce of favorite rums. So grenadine and all that. I'm going, I'm going to use rums that I don't often use, to be honest, down here. So we will, hang on, get in there. Right, that's the Corona. Uh, what have I got? What have I got? I've got, so... I'm going to do what this is a blend okay so this is i'm going to do two ounces of this uh so this is uh guyana barbados and jamaica so i'm gonna do that oh my god <laughs> i've just seen it all right wendy <laughs> right here we go uh let me do this one i'll tell you what wendy i'll do that uh so i've got jim so i've got claire so i'll do that in a minute for you uh what we're we doing two ounces of this 
There we go. So we are a little bit. So the ratio is slightly off, but you know that that's cool. We've still got the base of the rum punch in there. Which one's the crony? Oh, that's the Myers. Right, I've got to line these up enough. So first one, Barbados. Right, I can get rid of. I can hide that one now. Right, there we go. Uh, this one is the old Coroni. Right, crushed ice. Achoo. Bit more crushed ice. One of those. Right. Achoo. Get on there. Right. Achoo. And a glass for this. I'm going to run out of little glasses for this. Might have to, uh, might have to decant. Right. Okay. So, lovely kind of colour to it. Nice red. Obviously, it's not much, you know, grenadine. You don't need, you know, when I see recipes for like 20 mil, 25 mil of grenadine, I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> needs that's why I don't use that run much it needs I tell you what that needs that needs a darker demerara kind of vibes to a run that needs some El Dorado 12 or even El Dorado 8 in it if anyone's going to make that I would suggest using a darker run that's that is delicious. It just needs those Demerara vibes. The booze is there. I'm not saying it's not strong enough. It's the flavour that's not strong enough. Comparing it to that Coroni. That's just another level. That's really good. I'm really excited to try the Cuvée now. <laughs> right. Uh, let's do that there. Mummy Barman's going to be like, Woo! <laughs> she'll come in like like five to nine just before Ant and Deck comes on. And she'll she'll like polish them all off and she'll be tipsy watching Ant and Deck. Right. So don't forget as well, you can use stuff like Campari and all that kind of stuff in these as well. You kind of give it that bitter. I wanna what I want to eventually do, I I want to kind of get to the point where we're creating I mean, th this is fun in its own right, but creating sort of zombie riffs and stuff like that as well. So let's go into gyms. Gyms, gyms. Got mine. Half a, right, let's do this. Half a, half a lime. So half a lime would be roughly, uh, well, half a lime. For, I'm going to go 15 mil. 15. Oh, wrong trigger. Uh, what was that? I think five more. There we go. Right. Wrong jigger, UK jigger, 15 mil of Demerara. Oh, banana syrup. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, this might be all right. What's the date on this flipping thing? <laughs> That'll be all right. Right, let me, let me just double check. I'm not going to kill myself. Okay. I haven't actually cracked this for ages. Uh, and I'm talking, I mean, I've had this open for a couple of years now, at least. Oh, yeah, that's banging. Cool, that's all right, isn't it? Woohoo! Good old ODK. Right. Um, this was best before May 2021. <laughs> so I've had this open three years, give or take. Right, uh, where are we? So 15 mil of banana syrup. There is no, there's no funny layers on top, so we're good. Right, 15 mil of banana syrup. Uh, 30 mil of Flor de Carne 12. Right, you did say Mount Gay. We're going to have to create, because I can't find the Mount Gay Eclipse. So we're going to have to crack out the posh Mount Gay. Or I could go Dapu Share. Nah, sod it. Wind, Windy's splashing the cash. Let's do uh, let's do the posh Mount Gay. Uh, so what we got? We've got 15 of that Mount Gay. There we go. Uh, and then... 30 of Flor de Carne 12, FDC 12, 
30. Let's do that end, because that end's only 25. 30 off Floyd Pine 12. 60 mil of pi pineapple juice. Ooh, pineapple, P, P for pineapple juice. Right, uh, let's go 40 and 20. Whose idea was it to use the UK jigger on this? 40 and 20 and two dashes of Angostura bitters. So that's basically these are like not as much. So I'm going to go, there we go, four, four of these because they're little things. Right, crushed ice. Damn. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. So what, Demer did I do the Demerara? Uh, let me know in the comments. Don't forget the Demerara. Obviously not. <laughs> Cheers, Jim. <laughs> and what was it? 15, 15, 15. Where are we? 15, the Demerara. Right, I can see that. 10. See, teamwork, innit? Teamwork makes the dream work. Right. There we go. So, and then actually cube. See, this is this is where I need an audience with, innit? I need people in the crowd. Those of you that follow uh, the Sorted Food Channel, the Sorted Lads, uh, what they're doing, I don't know whether you've seen what they're doing, but what they're doing uh, about three or four weeks, I think it is, I would absolutely love to do with drinks with that. That's just absolutely amazing idea. Right, let's go. Let's go to the old julep cup. Oh, this one's got a bit froth in it. This one's got a bit froth. So, what was in here? Forgotten already. Demerara, lime, uh, banana, Florida kind of 12, Matt Gay, 60 ml of pineapple juice, two dash of Angostura bitters. Well, that is pretty good. But how can... I think these kind of drinks... It's not the flavour. I think these kind of drinks really do suit that darker rum more. Again, if I'd have done, what was it? Instead of the fifth, instead of the Mount Gay, again, if I'd have done something like El Dorado eight year old, Pusses, uh, Gunpowder Proof, Worthy 109, Myers, even to be fair, if I'd have done something like that, you just would have got that lovely, rounded kind of vibes going on. Mm. Jamaica, I've just seen uh, Jackie's comment as well. Um, I'm assuming, sorry. I'm assuming I haven't saying your name right. I can't. Yerky, Yerky, right up the top there. Yerky, thank you, mate. Right, Yerky, right. I've just seen the whole Jamaican funk comment as well. That would be a blend, a kind of, a bit of worthy 109, because it's got a little bit of funk in there, but something like the Zymaka or Smith & Cross, just so like, um, well, even 1330 or maybe like, no, that would be a bit too much. Oh, I don't know, 1330. Hmm. That's delicious. That's up Mummy Barman Street. Right, have I got room in there? I'm going to have to watch this back. Someone, I hope, I want someone to be taking notes or someone take screenshots for me. Uh, <laughs> so we can like whack these in the old Discord. Right, let's get rid of that. So, might have to just rinse this quickly because it's got banana. So that's Jim's done. So Claire's, so this is the last one I've pinned for the time being. Uh, before I get into, and Tom, I can see yours. I'll, I'll, I'll go down the comments and I'll pin some more in a second. Right, let me just rinse this. And we've got to rinse the old blender because there's banana on the blender. There we go. Lovely, jubbly. Right. So, what's Claire's then? Claire's is Lost Years of Four Islands. Four Islands. Ooh, bottle kill. Right, lime juice, morning pineapple syrup. I've got pineapple puree, that'll do. Uh, Stafford Tropical. Stafford, Stafford Tropical. I like that name, let's call them Stafford. They're not watching tonight, so if I've got one in the fridge, I'm sure I've got one in the fridge. Right, we'll get another one out of the fridge. There we go. Right, S Stafford, let's call them Stafford. <laughs> Stratford, Miss Betters, pineapple and star anise. 
Miss Betters, pineapple and star anise. Where are they? There's that one. Is that right? What am I missing? Lime juice, obviously. Lime juice, there, right. So, let's use, with the, there it is. Let's use the US one properly. Um, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start to do little ones in the little glasses because A, I'm never gonna drink them all. Uh, and B, um, it's just a lot of wastage going on. Except I do windy, because windy's paid. I'll do, I'll do the full one for windy. Right, so, little ones. So seven and a half of lime. Uh, let's do that while I'm here. So what was it to? Uh, yeah, that'll be all right. So start, for those watching for the very first time that haven't seen these little bad boys, I'm sure you have, but these are another must stock edition. Pineapple and start in these bitters. Amazing stuff. Right, that's that. Uh, what are we doing for this? So this is gonna be the sweet. So I've done that, so 15 mil of this because I only did seven and a half mil of lime. Go, lovely. Have that on your toast. Excuse the sound, just a quick warning. I'll do it over here. Sorry, I know that's irritating. Let's do that. The rum, so 30 mil of Four Island. Boom. And then the last one is the Stratford Soda. So, so what we've we done, so 45 mil of this, obviously. So 30, 45, lovely. Those purees are goddamn good. Right, done, 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 done that. We can hide that. And I can come back to the main comments now. Right, chat. Back to messages. Right, crushed. Crushed ice. Crushed ice. There we go. Boom, jobs are good and right. Tiny little bit left in there. So where do we get to on the comments? I've got to, get, I've got to use this one for comments now. Just so I can catch up very quickly. Uh, da, 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 everything needs more booze. Da, da, da. Funky, right, I can go back to here. Where's the dark? Right, there we go, right. Uh, Just got the bottle, I haven't tried them. Wish I was drinking. Right, that's where I saw that. That's Wendy's 20 pounds. We can put there in a second. Right, Tom, pin that one. Uh, star that, I'll read that in a second. I can see it's a recipe. Uh, Bear Grylls is ownage. Which is the classic plantation? Which is the classic plantation? Bear, Bear Grylls, let's put this in. Uh, I wouldn't say there is a classic plantation. Um. You've got the classic, what are they called? The classic bartender range, which are these ones. So they, they belong into the classic bartender range. And then you've got the signature range, which are these ones. And they've got loads and loads of rums. So if you're asking which was the original bar, um, plantation, well, none of them, because they've evolved and all that over time. Um, so yeah, I don't kind of know how to answer that. Plantation XO is a very good plantation rum. Um, I wouldn't say it's the classic one, but there we go. Right, uh, maybe it was Smith and Cross. Right, I've seen that funky banana. Plantation five, lime and diet coke. Right, hang on, I'm starring that just for giggles because I've got diet Pepsi in the bridge. Right, Tom, so that's, Tom's the second one got starred. Uh, I've seen that, don't forget there. Right. One part, <laughs> I like this. One part, what's he say? One part agriculture, something like TR age, like we used to do. <laughs> right, the, the dark and funky. Can we all do it like countdown? One for the top, right, Carol? <laughs> LTB, wow, wow, wow. Right, here we go. So, Geraint in there. I'm going to start that and look at that in a second. So, 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 oh, how do we see that? So, so, so. You've changed your name. You've a hundred percent changed your name. I can't say that. Sir Gisemongas. What was your name before? You've changed your name because I recognise the profile picture. Uh, what about Pe Pampera? Yeah, Pampera Anniversario. Yes, great shout, Kay. Great shout. I, I haven't got too much left in there. That's bottle kill. Um, 
but yeah, hundred percent that that's going to be awesome in punches as well. It gives you those light, lovely kind of rich vibes in there. Perfect, perfect rum for a punch. I, for me personally, there are a few different styles of rums. That's going to come out wrong. There's there's only a few different styles of rums that I would use in a punch. I do love the darker vibes, dark rums. So your Pampero, as I said, the Worthy 109s, uh, the Myers, the Plantation OFTD, the Plantation OD, um, El Dorado uh, Pusses, the El Dorado 8 as well. I love those vibes. But the little twist that I would do is something like Jamaican. I love those sort of a little bit, maybe 15 mil, maybe 30 mil. I wouldn't say I'd go all Jamaican, all 60 mil if you were doing that. But I do love those kind of, that sort of vibe. I don't think... It's as nice as they are. When you, when you get to something like this, right, these classic sort of styles, I mean, that is delicious. Absolutely, you know, that's just like squash. It's 100% just like squash. You just, and you can understand why that is the, like the original planter's punch because it is just literally like squash. It's so easy going. But I do love them when you've got a bit of carrot to the rum. When you've got a plain punch, so plain sugar, whether it's brown or white, and lime juice, and just crushed ice or water, I, I love I love the flavour of the rum. That Caroni is, oh my God, that's sexy. Right, this is settled a lot. There we go. Let's dip the old straw in here. So this is, let's get another straw. We've got plenty of straws. My recyclable straws. So this was Claire's, wasn't it? I've forgotten about this. What was it? What was it? It was the, I've forgotten what was in here now. It was Four Islands, Lime Juice, Monin, Pineapple, Stratford, Tropical, Miss Better's, Pineapple. Right, okay. Oh, wrong one. Right, hi. Back to chat. Back to messages. Okay. Did I say Karen? I think, sorry, Kay, if I, I've got recollections that I said Karen. I'm very sorry if I did. K, there you go. That was that was talking about your anniversario. Right, five, five. Uh, Marky T, let's save that one. I've just done that. <laughs> just for giggles, we're going to do that right at the end. I've just read it. <laughs> some faces on here tonight, some new faces. Yes. Right, Discord, let's, I tell you what. While I'm just having a quick clean down, I've got I've got a little treat for you, and then I'll come back to do some cocktails. So I'll come back in a second. Joined my rum Discord community yet? If not, you're missing out on all the chats and knowledge with loads of other rum fans. And if you don't know what Discord is, it's just basically a more organised WhatsApp where conversations are organised into threads instead of one long feed. It's so flipping easy to use. Even Mummy Barman could use it. Now the membership area has at least 40 exclusive threads in there where we deep dive into styles of rum, including our beloved Order of the String fan club where we talk about these plantation beauties. We also have specific rum cocktails cocktail threads dedicated to the Mai Tai, the Planters Punch, the Daiquiri, as well as the pre-live show banter threads and anything else in between, including a thread dedicated to trying to wean Scott off his beige food diet. But of course, even for the non-members, there's plenty of threads for you guys to get involved, ask rum questions and talk about rum cocktails, plus obviously all the links where you can see all of my content that I post every week. Now, Discord is available on your mobile and it's also a desktop app too. All you need to do is just follow the link on screen and that'll do everything to get you started. And I promise you, it's so easy to use. It makes Facebook groups look like 1999 tech. What are you waiting for? I'll see you in there. Cheers. That's awesome, isn't it? It gives me a chance to like have a little clean down, have a little wash up, restock the lime juice. I kind of love that. I've got another special one coming up for you in a bit. Right. <laughs> so that was the old Discordy thing. Uh, let's, let's take that off. Right. Pusses, needs more booze, funky banana. Give the vid a like, guys. Right, let's go back and make Windies, I think. Dark and funky. Can we do it? Countdown. I've... Oh, hang on. Where am I going? New messages. I've seen all those. There we go. That's better. Trevor V. Oh, my God. Hello, Trevor V. How the devil are you? I haven't seen you for flipping months and months and months. I hope you're well, my friend. Hope you're well. Right. That's delicious, Claire. Again. The pineapple cumber. All I want in that is a dark rum. 
and I know that's potentially just me. I, I completely 100% get that, but I just want a darker rum in there. Or a Jamaican rum or something like that. It's funny, isn't it? Right, let's do, let's do Wendy. Um, I didn't pin that 20 quid, right. Let's, let's find, I'm not sure I can go to find it now. There it is, right, let's pin this. Right, <laughs> so. <laughs> oh dear, right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, these are full ones, aren't they? So 15 mil of lime juice. The things, the things you make me do. Hey, 15 mil of that. Right. Um, I'm going Cuban rum. Cuban rum. I think I'm going plain sugar. I'm going to go plain sugar for the Cuban rum. Um, so 30 mil of that. <laughs> I can't, I can't believe I'm going to do this. <laughs> you lot, you lot crack me up. Right, so this is the first one. Right, let's do it. Let's, let's, let's hide that now. And let's go down here. Right, there we go. So this is this is the first beast. <laughs> oh, such a good run. So this is, this is my... Which one was my birthday present? This was my birthday present, wasn't it? And I forget which way round it was now. That was my, this was my birthday present. I'm sure it was. Or was it? No, it wasn't. That was my birthday present, surely. And this was, yeah, I forget which one it was now. This was my, I'm sure it was. Right. Basically, what we've got <laughs> is two very posh and very old um, Cuban rums in here. That, by the way, makes the best daiquiri. Hang on, this. There's no point. There's no point me uh, giving you a close up of the bottle. Let's, let's give you a close up of that. The thing, by the way, makes the best ever daiquiri that you will taste. Ronku Bay, can't extra viejo. Fourteen years old. This one. <laughs> fourteen. I think it's fourteen. I'm sure, it's fourteen. Right, so special occasion rums they are. Right, let's go that. Let's get that. Let's go that down there. Let's get that. Bitters. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna not do um, what are they called? Um, Angostura. I'm gonna do uh, Miss Betty's aromatic in here. I'm not going too much. There we go. Right, aromatic. And then I'm just gonna do crushed ice. I should have used that advert break to do the ice top up, shouldn't I? There we go. Anarchy. Right. Boom. Right. Nice glass for this. So, basically, the Crony is a three hundred pound rum, and the two Kubes collectively will be what three hundred and twenty. Don't know three hundred. Ba basically, three hundred pounds versus three hundred pounds. Let's say, let's give it that. But the blend is going to be because the white's cheaper than the extra viejo. Right. Mummy Barman, if you are watching, come and taste these before the, the ice sort of really melts into them. Oh, fuck it That's it. Show's over. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Wow. Oh, I don't know which I prefer. Right, can I just say, right, I'm going to use this one. Bear in mind, I haven't, that's the original one I made, and I didn't kind of flash blend that. That was the second one I made with just crushed ice, no water. Exactly the same. Here she comes. I can see the door now. Um, So the, I'm talking about quality of rum here, all right? Uh, the difference, the gulf between the quality of rums between that and that is just insane. Right, uh, there you go. Look at you, I'm all right. Bloody hell, calm down. 
I've only got five minutes. Well, what, what do you mean you've only got five minutes? You're not watching it live, are you? Yeah. I thought you recorded that in a deck, so you could get rid of. Uh, I've forgotten whose that one was. Whoever made that was oh, lovely. Right, that's that's Claire's. I could put that over there. Well, they want to see, don't they? Okay. You, you need the hand as well. The hand needs to come to about here. Look, the raw hand. Yeah, not bad. Not oh, not bad, Claire. Not bad. Yeah, you don't you don't get a, oh, Come on, the hand about there. Look. Hi everyone. There we go. Right. Uh, oh, why? Calm down, Jesus Christ. Uh, the original. <laughs> oh, wait, don't forget that one. Look. Whoever's that? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, the, yeah, 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 key. Oh I, like that. oh, I like that. That's better than Claire's. I'm sorry, Claire, but she didn't like yours at all. Right. I did like it. Oh, don't, don't give me that. Don't butter up to her now. She can take it. Oh, see, even that one's better. Wow. Uh, and then we go for the two expensive ones. Right, okay. Yeah, stick a drawing. That's a bit strong. <laughs> that's the crony. That's the petrol. <laughs> oh, that's nice. How stupid it bloody is. Which one's favourite? That one. That one. That one's your favourite. There you go. Merry yeah, Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Whoever that was, uh, I've forgotten who's that was, but well done. Mummy Barman's favourite so far. <laughs> <laughs> she says, like, down in half with a wrong Kube one. <laughs> Are you sure you want that one? I just bloody it. She's got two. <laughs> She's got two, and it's not one of yours, Claire. I'm really sorry. <laughs> and and it's not that one either. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, so, oh, right. Um, She's taken the... No, she hasn't. No, she hasn't. I thought she'd taken the Coroni then for a second. It's like cheek of it. Oh, I don't know. I prefer the Kube. Definitely prefer the Kube over the, over the Coroni. It's just, there's some extra kind of magical oops going on in there. Oh, right. Show's over now. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just drinking this. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I've got loads more pinned here. I've got seven pinned. Right. Uh, let's just quickly dive into the comments before I, I hit up some more. Um, Bear Grylls. Well, I've got, I can see another question here. I like these questions. Just a very quick one, because I haven't done it for ages. If you've got a question, anyone new watching, if you've got a question, type question, big capital letters uh, at the start of your comments so I can pick it out easily, because if I'm scanning through the comments, I can't see them. So uh, capital letters, question to start your comment, and then you can then you can kind of see it. Is the, is the OFTD rum they use for for cocktails to light on fire. Uh, you can do. Um, anything over, without getting all technical, anything over 55%, say 57, whatever, anything over that will light quite easily. But you still need it sort of, I still use an accelerant like a sugar cube. Um, I actually don't bother. I'm going to show you something if it's, it's still at hand, because I do not believe in setting fire to rum. I think it's sacrilege. So, yes. This is what I've got, and it was far cheaper and last you a long, long time. You stick that on top of a sugar cube, on top of a passion fruit, on top of a lime wheel, and you'll have flames that just literally up here somewhere. Although you can't see that. There we go. <laughs> you'll have flames up here somewhere if you use that. That is by far and away the best stuff. And if you're UK, you'll get that in every single supermarket. Or if you're Amazon, just Amazon it up. It's like four or five quid. Couple of drops on that, little bar spoon, little teaspoon of lemon extract. Honestly, don't waste your rum. Don't set rum on fire. It's stupid, it's irresponsible. Drink your rum, set fire to lemon extract. Simple as that, all right? I don't want anyone to be setting fire. If you run a bar and you're charging like 20 quid a cocktail and five of that is because you're setting the rum on fire, fine. If you're at home, don't go setting fire to your rum, drink it, right? Sermon over. Uh, these funk, these, these punches need a funky part. Yes, I do agree, actually. Just those super smooth sipping rums disappear under the mixers. Steve has a man crush on Ron Cooper. I flipping do, I tell you. I 
flipping do. Look at them. Look at them. They're my little babies up here. And, and down here. I, I generally don't know which one I prefer out of these two, though. I mean, that's... Uh, oh, five. I mean, that is... I do like that. That is the best ever daiquiri you'll ever have. Standard. There, there is no... I, I defy anyone to come at me with a better daiquiri than what that's ever going to make. Oh, stunning. In it, Windy and Scott. <laughs> Where's Scott? I haven't seen Scott tonight. Is Scott here? I'm sure Scott's here. Right. Robert Flaxman. There's a tiki bar in Chicago area that uses lemon extract. Oh, oh I like this. This is a bit of knowledge. This tiki bar in Chicago area that uses a bit of lemon extract. So cinnamon sticks. Yes, exactly. So what we would do, uh, and for everyone else, what I'm sure you've seen me do it before. We'd get a passion fruit or a lemon. A, a, a lime husk would stick a, a sugar cube inside it okay so you've got your you've got your lime let's get rid of that so you can see my hands properly so we've got a, we've got a lime husk we've got a sugar cube inside it we then douse the sugar cube in uh, lemon extract okay we set fire to that your flames will go and then we get our cinnamon which is that one. I'm not going to bother doing it, obviously, but cinnamon and just go like that and it will just go. Okay. Job done. It's cost you pennies as opposed to like shots of rum. Okay. Right. Time to dive back into these. Um, I wonder if they stay there. I'm going to save. I'm going to keep them pinned. So hopefully I might be able to keep them after the old um, stream's finished. Right. Tom. Tom's turn now. Do I have to? This, there's a really weird banana vibe. Bear in mind, I washed. I, I did wash up. There's a banana vibe going on to that wrong Kube. It's really bizarre. Very different. I do prefer the Kube, but they're very different. Right, Tom. Here we go. We're going. We're going back to mini, mini dax now. Mini, mini dax. Mini punches. Uh, plant plantation XO. Let's go the other way. Equia. Oh, hello. Sunita lime. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. We can do that. We can do that. Uh, we can. We can do that, Tom. <laughs> I've got a lime in the fridge. I think. I don't know how long this has been here. Hang on, where's it gone? I think I opened this one night on the old um, uh, taste along. On the old, um, what do we call it? Sunita lime. So we don't want that. We don't want the lemon. What are you doing to me? Uh, Witch King's sugar. My favourite bitters. So Equiano, Dorley's. Well, oh, Tom, you didn't comment. I, was, I can see it on this screen. Tom, very quick comment by the time we get there. Equiano light or Equiano... Dark gold, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I'll see that pop up at the bottom of the screen there when it comes. So I'm going to go the other way first. So <laughs> Sunita Lime. <laughs> this, stuff, this stuff cracks me up. I mean, it's, it's not... It's not... It's not... It's not too bad. It's not fresh lime, but it's not too bad. I've tasted worse. Right, it's... Um, just do that. Right. It's definitely better than Jeff. Anyway, let's do that. Uh, Tom, dark. Thank you, mate. Right. So, uh, Sunita lime. So I'm going, I'm going mini ones again. So seven and a half. Boom. Two parts of the Witch King sugar. For those of you that haven't cottoned on of what's happening here, this stuff is from the Craft Rum Club. Okay. So the Craft Rum Club. I send this out in the monthly subscriptions. So for all of you that have got Craft Rum Club, I kind of like what Tom's done here. I'm not sure whether he was having a crack, whether he was having a giggle, but it's, I kind of like it, actually. Um, So CRC Witch King Sugar. So there we go. So 15 mil of that. I'm doing halves. So seven and a half is a part, all right? Because I need, I need them to go in little glasses. So five, 10, hang on. 15 is that. Seven and a half, so 22 and a half mil. Three lots of seven and a half. Right. Plantation XO. I should have just done 10 mil, shouldn't I? 
That would have been easier. Right, Plantation XO, Equiano Dark. Pop. And what was the other one? Dawley's 12. Dawley's 12 is nearly bottle kill as well. Oh, no, it's not. I'm lying. What's that? Oh, Appleton 12 is nearly bottle kill. Right. I've done the lime, I've done the sugar, I've done the rum, the bitters. Uh, don't know what to do for the bitters. I might just, I might just do the aromatic. I don't want to. I was thinking tiki, but I don't, I don't know. I might just. We we'll do, we we'll do the Miss Bitters aromatic. Sorry, you can't. There you go. The Miss Bitters aromatic. I think that's that. But to be fair, hang on. As we're using this, we've got these little baby mini bottles of, of Angostura. I'm sure they came from um, the Craft Rum Club, didn't they? I can't open it. Sorry. <laughs> right, let's go back. Go back to plan A. There we go. Right. Uh, crushed ice. Let's top that up with a bit more crushed ice. Ooh. Here's some crushed ice we made earlier. There we go. Oh, loads of crushed ice. Don't want that much. That's going to be like a flipping slush puppy. What are we doing? There we go. And one of those. There we go. Right. Excuse the language. Excuse the noise. There we go. Right. And let's just top this up. Magical. There we go. Right. So. That, did that actually do it? I'm going to swizzle this. I've, I've put too much ice in there. There we go. That's fair. I've put too much too much ice in there. So let's, let's hide Tom's. Right. Uh, There we go. Perfect. That's what we want. That's how it should have been. Right. Perhaps I should just swizzle them. That might be easier, actually. I might swizzle them. You learn something, don't you? Right. Another straw. So, Tom's. Like that. Again, that's got this, like, weird... There's absolutely no banana anywhere near here because they've all been washed up. Sugar is this weird kind of. Hmm. Perhaps not. Perhaps it's. Still absolutely nowhere near the Coroni and nowhere near the Roncube. But it's decent. I kind of like that. Right, next, this bar gets very sticky very quickly. So next up, uh, Tom put two in. Is he having a giggle with this one or not? Plantation, yeah, he's having a giggle with this one. <laughs> Plantation five, Plantation OFCD, Stiggins and Lime. You're having a giggle, I'm not making that. Right, Big G, Big G is in the house. Come on, shrub. Did I have? Yeah, I've got a shrub. Oh, we can do this. I like this. So, I am actually going to swizzle and not blend. This is what I like. We've got a professional in the house now. A professional cocktail expert in the house. Right. One part aged agricole. Uh, Saint James. Let's go one part of that. I could go Trois Riv Rivières. I'm going. Where's my HSC? Did I drink all the HSC? Where's the? <gasps> no. I drunk. I've got a funny feeling. I've drunk all the HSC. I can't have done. I thought that was on the back of the bar. Okay, HSC and uh. 
Mount Gay Eclipse have gone walkies. Right, so one part. So I'm going to do 10 mil parts, all right? 10 mil parts. So one part aged agricole. So I think that's 12 years. St. James. Uh, one part shrub. So there we go. Clement shrub. So another 10 mil of that. I can tell it's nine o'clock. You lot have all gone watching uh, Ant and Deck, haven't you? Right, of Clement Shrub. Half a part, oh no, I better not use, I was, gonna, I was just gonna grab the Sanita lime juice then. I will use proper lime juice, don't you worry. Um, so one part lime juice. One part passion fruit puree. I don't think I've got any going, so I'm actually gonna use passion fruit syrup. He says, well, you're having a giraffe. Oh, there he is. So I'm going to use passion fruit syrup. Because uh, I know I haven't got any puree in there because I haven't had an event this week. So I'm going to use that. Uh, and I know this will be slightly sweeter, actually. So just for, just for Big G's benefit, I'm just going to, just going to, compensate very slightly with an extra bit of lime juice because that's just going to be a little bit sweeter there we go and demerara quarter part demerara dun, 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 dun. so quarter that's boom right now here's the kind of thing all spice dram i've mentioned this i've touched on this a few times i've never restocked my all spice dram and it is right here I've never, I've never restocked it because of these, the Alamakuni Tiki Bitters. I, I love these. So the All Spice Dram has got a little bit of sweetness to it and how I prefer to make cocktails, but basically the very similar flavors, very, very similar flavors. How I prefer to make cocktails is to kind of get the balance, to kind of get the, the, the kind of sweetness and all that and then add those tiki bitters. Whereas this would be part, because it's 22%, and I think the Elizabeth, well, I forget what it is now, uh, the one they get in the, in the US, is actually slightly more alcoholic, I think. Don't hold me to that. Um, so I kind, I kind of do this. I, I love these bitters. So that will actually, comp instead of using allspice dram, the passion fruit syrup that I've used, will kind of sort of semi-compensate. Right, there we go. Need some more of that. And fizzy water. Fizzy water. Uh, top up with fizzy water. I'm not going to do too much. He says. Because if I did that hard, you won't see it, will you? Right, I'm going to hide this now. Just, to, just in case there's a comedy moment. Oh, control. Control. The last time I did that went... <laughs> So fizzy, fizzy water, crushed ice. There we go. And I'm going to swizzle. I'm not going to bother with the old thing. I'm going to I'm going to use use Claire's lele stick. There we go. Job's good. Job done. No wonder the bar top's getting a bit messy. <laughs> yes. Job's good. Right. Let's go. This one. Little little mini punches. We like this. That is good. That's very good. The orange. So I'll come back to the comments. So no, I'm not looking at the comments. I'm in a, a different stream, a different thread, if you like, at the moment. Like the orange. What that does need... This is an afternoon... Hang on, I'm just looking at Big G's recipe. This is an afternoon punch. This isn't an early evening punch. This is an afternoon punch. 
because uh, you know what's coming. It needs more rum. The Creole shrub is 40%. So it's got the booze. It has got the booze. I kind of want like... I kind of want a more rummier flavour. I know he loves his agricole. I would have kept the orange. If I'd have got that orange flavour, and instead of the agricole, instead of the aged um, St. James in there, coming back to that Demerara vibes or something like that as the base rum in there, I think that would have been banging. The orange and passion fruit, the lime, Taking those two out of the equation, the Caroni and the Kube, that's my favourite. It just needs a bit of rum oomph behind it. That's all for me. Flavour-wise, hands down my favourite. It just does... Oh, flipping hell. She's back in. She's like, oh, I, I take it out the decks on an ad break. Yeah, you pissed up. No, she's just, she's, oh, she's all rosy. Where are you coming It's here. Oh, right, okay. I like the look of that one. She, like, she likes the look of this one. <laughs> we need a mummy bee mic, don't we? Oh. <laughs> oh, a nice long drink. Nice long drink. It's an mm -hmm. That's what I mean. It's an afternoon rum punch, Definitely, isn't it? Yeah. Not an evening, get like you started. Like your Aperol. Like your Aperol. What? I get what you mean. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah I did that one. Sorry. You trying that one? It's nice to know your old man prefers you over out in deck, isn't it? No, that one. Yeah. Oh, thank you. He, he, do you not want that? No, I quite like that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, well, I've got these two. I've got the three hundred pound ones, so I'm, I'm fine. Right, uh, I'm just going to come back to the... Right, let me just put this on screen, then I'll come back to the comments. What? Are, is this serious? No, it's not serious. 25 mil, 109. 25 mil, ham today. Pineapple juice, drizzle of OTD. That's not serious. Right, we can we can hide that one. And there was another one that wasn't semi-serious. Oh, the, the Diet Coke one there. Right, I've, I've cleared the starred ones. I'm coming back to the chat now. So... Let me catch up on the chat. I need some more of this. So sticky. Need a bar back. Wouldn't this be fun? Wouldn't this be fun with an audience? You know, I could make, if I had an audience and charge, I don't know, like five pound ticket entry or something like that. You know, I could make full size cocktails and everyone would get a cocktail at the end of the night. It'd be so much fun, wouldn't it? Right. There we go. So let's come back to the old chit chat. Uh, hide that. And I've got to catch up with stuff. Right, Trevor V. So this is where the chat. So Trevor V. Twenty forty nine, half an hour ago. So I'm going to quickly come through all this chat. All right. So if you've got questions, as I said, um, start it off capital letters. Question. Kevin is uh, on the question is. It's going to be hard. Sorry, I know this is boring for you lot. I'll, I'll try and amuse myself as much as I'm. Oh, no, I've seen all this. Man crush on Ron Kube. I've seen this. Right, Mama B will run off with the expensive ones. Right. Are there any more? There we go. That's where I got to. Robert Flaxman. That's the last comment. That's the last comment I saw. Right. Okay. Now we're cool. So that was at 2059. So I've, I've got 17 minutes worth of comments. Or eight, sorry, 18 minutes worth of comments. Sorry. Crouton and lemon extract. Yes, 100%. Uh, the Kube is extremely lush. Uh, soak a plain crouton yes does he does he say that i, I don't do you know what i'm so terrible with these uh, page 245 i'm completely i can't read the book i'm i can read obviously i can't i haven't got the attention span to read the book i'm completely auditory so i've not read half of the text in this book well i've not probably read two-thirds of the text i read the recipes and that's it 245 on Smuggler's Cove. 245. 
See what I mean? All that, I, I, I would genuinely, where's the front? I would genuinely get to about there. I would read, probably not even finish that paragraph, and my brain would be off. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get to that paragraph, let alone that paragraph down there. My brain is just gone. And it's really annoying. I want, I'm so tempted. Um, who is it? My, um, uh, Petrick, Matt Petrick's got, um, uh, the history. What's he got? What's he done? The, the, the Caribbean history of rum up to the modern day. And I, I just, I so want the book. Like I'm, I'm going to order the book, but I'm, I might just send it to someone and pay them to, um, transcribe it. Um, to, to speak it because I'll never read it, but I want the book desperately. I just can't, I just haven't got the attention span to read. Like I use, um, so I use Microsoft Edge and I'm, I'm assuming Chrome and all this has got, Firefox have got the same as well, but I use Microsoft Edge because it's got the whole, um, what's it called, text to speech thing. So if there's a long blog, a long web page, I'll just click the button and it reads it to me because um, I, I physically haven't got the attention span to read. So I'm assuming there's croutons on here somewhere. Fresh mint, maraschino, fire, what kind of tiki bar or yeah, blah, 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 blah. See what I mean? I've just, I've just skipped, I've just skipped like three paragraphs there. For setting a drink on fire, we find 151 in a spent lime shell or a semi blah, blah, blah. Oh, there we go. Lemon extracts by comparison is, is it 164 proof? No. That cannot be 164 proof because any Tom, Dick or Harry could buy it. Lemon extract doesn't need to be a proof. Lemon extract will just set on fire. So I don't know what Martin Cake's lemon extract is all about. But there's absolutely no age restrictions on that at all in the UK. So, oh, interesting. Right, okay. Um, Right, using Sunita Lime was how I got coconut from FDC4. <laughs> oh, is that your excuse? You're telling me that that, uh, that plus that plus that, I don't know whether Scott's here, but that plus that gives you coconut, apparently. Whatever, Karen. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Right. Forgot about the mini bowl. Nearly nailed it. Uh, it's the Sunita Steve Sunny. Uh, da, 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 still a boss. Okay. Ah, uh, oh, right. Hang on. The, the this is a good one. So, cheers, Robert. Uh, just check the Saint Elizabeth. It's forty-five proof. So, okay. So it's the same. So twenty-two, twenty-two and a half percent ABV. And this is 22%. I would imagine it, you know, that was competing. I thought uh, I thought St. Elizabeth was a lot stronger than that. Okay, I'll take that back. So both of those there. But genuinely, you know, the, the Ella McCooley tiki bitters just absolutely nail it because they're just bitters and they give you that sort of flavour boost, of flavour enhancement. Right. Trevor. Oh, I've seen another one. Uh, yeah, okay, I've seen that. Uh, I've made my all spice, all, own allspice from Alton Brown's recipe. I don't know who Alton Brown is. I might pin that as well, actually. Uh, hopefully I can see these after the stream's finished. That'll be good. Right, uh, where's it gone? Yeah, let's put this on screen. Let's just do this one straight away because I'm not sure if there's any others. Is that the one I can see? One ounce lime, one ounce pineapple. Yeah, that's the, that's the recent one. I don't know what time that was. Yeah, that's quite close. Right, let's do that then. Let's do that. Let's do this. Let's do this. Right. Uh, that's that one, isn't it? So, pineapple with demerara, filler. Isn't that what we've just done? No, we swapped the rum up and pineapple. Right. Uh, yerky. Yerky. Yeah, yerky. That's how you say it. I've seen it. I've seen the why. Um, that pineapple, is that pineapple juice? Uh, that's what I want to know. So I've, I've got my eyes on the other comments down here so I can see that. I'm going to do the rest of it. If that's pineapple juice, uh, then I'm good to go. I've got pineapple puree here as well, which is half pineapple, half sugar. So you let me know what you want me to use in here and I'll do the rest of it. So a teaspoon of moninfolernum. We've got that. I like that. I like what we've done there. So 
teaspoon of monophyllanum. Let's do this one. So again, I'm doing half measures. So less than a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of the old monophyllanum. Uh, half an ounce of rich demerara. So I'm going to, I'm sticking to my 10, 10 mil parts. So I'm going to translate this roughly. All right. Okay. Bjerke used mono grenadine too. Oh, pineapple juice. Thank you, mate. And mono grenadine. Thank you. We're on it. We're, we're on it. Was there grenadine in this? I'm assuming there was then. Grenad grenadine. Uh, don't forget, I've got like hibiscus and all that, and I've still got a tiny bit, for those of you who have watched it, I've still got a tiny bit of fashionola as well. Um, grenadine, right, tiny little drizzle, just to give it a nice kind of ready colour. Dun, dun, dun. Right, pineapple and lime. Pineapple and lime. So that's a part. That's a part. El Dorado then. Bacardi 4. Let's go that because that's that way around. One ounce, one ounce, one ounce. Yeah, so that's a part. Boom. And ED12. We're going to finish up with the last, last ingredient there. ED12. Cool. This smells, this smells pretty tasty. It smells pretty delightful. Right, is that then? Dun, 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 dun. Yes, right, we can hide that from the Finnish wizard. Bit of crushed ice, not too much, that's perfect. Swizzle. Love a swizzle. Love a swizzle. It's nothing better than making cocktails with a swizzle. Right, uh, let's go for that one. So, we haven't got names for these as well. We'll have to get in the old Discord and get some names. Now you're talking. That is up there. Right, so, right. I'm, I'm just going to give it to you straight. These two that have diluted a bit now, the Kube and the Coroni, there's no competing with them. They're just insane. Even with a little bit of dilution, like the ice melting, because the heat is on. That one's not on. That one's on. Even with a little bit of extra dilution, they're insane. So they are the best, right? Without a doubt, they're the best. So what we're now doing is playing with the best of the rest. The best of the rest so far was Big G's, which was this one, I think. Yeah, I tell you what, that's a fight. Again, what I would call an afternoon sipper. When Mummy Bar, I don't know whether you heard of it, when Mummy Barman said uh, Aperol Spritz, you know, it's that afternoon kind of, sunshiny vibe you don't want anything too strong if you know what i mean and yes the the booze is in there but strong in flavor that's kind of what i'm saying what's the 